What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of a Tech once again, and today I wanted to show you guys really quickly how to utilize Macrium Reflect Home Free Trial Edition to clone a smaller drive to a larger drive and use up all of the space. This is because on my test bench, I ran out of space on my main drive, and I figured why not take this opportunity to update you guys on how to do it for 2025. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So as you can see here, I already have the Macrium uh, website pulled up. So you can go to macrium.com and then select the trial edition for reflect free. Now you could download it from majorgeeks.com, but the trial edition now operates a little bit differently and you do have to get essentially a free trial code. So you'll just go through, through the process here of basically signing up for the discover reflect home and then you'll go through the process of signing up with an email all of that and then once you have done all of that you will be on your main page or your account home page and if you take a look here what you'll see is down here you'll have a registration code for the application and you'll need this for when you basically install the application it'll ask for a code in the email that you signed up with you'll paste in this code type in your email and then it will be installed that's just a quick note in case you are having trouble with that particular portion but other than that i'm not going to go through the entire install process or anything like that i just wanted to give you guys a quick note there now, once you have it installed, you can double click it to go ahead and get it up and running as you would with any other application. And then you'll pre be presented with this page in particular. So you wanna make sure that all the partitions on the drive you are cloning are selected. So the checkbox on each one of these, then you're gonna click the clone disc button. And then you'll come down here to select the disc and you'll select the disc that you want to clone to. As you can see, we're going from a 64 gigabyte SSD to a one terabyte gig SSD. And so we want to actually fix this by utilizing all of the space. If you just clone as it is now and go next, 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 it's gonna clone you one with a partition that only has this small partition that's already running out of space and your upgrade basically didn't take place. And obviously we want it to take place. So we're gonna click uh, copy partitions and say shrink or extend to fill the target. And what you wanna double check is this third partition and make sure it's expanding the space to use up the rest of your disk space. Here you can see it's 57 gigabytes and 930 gigabytes is what it's expanding to. And then we'll click next, next, and then finish and we can click OK to save the clone portion, and then it will go through the cloning process. Once the cloning process is complete, you can unplug the old, shut down the PC, unplug the hard, the hard drive that you cloned from, and then reboot, and you should be good to go. There you go, that's how you can utilize the additional space on your new SSD and utilizing uh, Macrium Reflect home free edition. It won't cost you anything. Of course, if you wait more than 30 days, you'll have to register with a different email or something along those lines, purchase the software, that sort of thing. Hope you found this helpful and I will see you next Tuesday.